How is it going everybody? You're watching then about tech. So how about controlling your computer, which can be a Mac or PC with your iPhone? So you can, for example, control your mouse, fully control your mouse. Then you can, let's say, go ahead here and open applications like this, like that. Let's go back to Safari, for example, and then even go here and have access to a full keyboard. So then, of course, you can navigate normally and then things like that. How about this? Well, I'm going to show you how you can do that right now. And the coolest thing, it's 100% free. Let's begin. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is actually download the application on the iPhone and then on the computer itself. Okay, so to download on the iPhone, just go to the App Store right here and look for Remote Mouse. That's your option right here. Go ahead and download it. As I said, it is free. There are in-app purchases, but uh, for everything that I showed you in the intro and much more, you can do for free. Okay, so uh, it's downloaded on the iPhone, as you guys can see right here, and you need to download on the computer, as I said. So then just go to this website right here, which is called remotemouse.net. I'm going to have a link in the description and on the screen, and then you're going to say get now. Uh, and then it's saying download on the comp on the smartphone first. We did it already. So then step two, download on your computer. As I said, it works for Mac and Windows and even Linux. Okay, so just go ahead and tap on Mac right there. And then it's going to start, it's actually going to redirect you to the App Store. You have the option to download the DMG file straight or from the App Store. Uh, so again, download it. It's going to show you this icon because I had previously downloaded it. So that's why it's going to show that icon. So now it's done. It's ready. Okay, so let's just go ahead and uh, take a look at that. That's the app. So before we actually use it, we have to quickly open and set it up on the computer. Okay, so just open remote mouse. And then, as you guys can see, it's going to show up right, right here, a little icon of a mouse right there. On your computer, if it's the first time you do it, you will see a pop-up asking to grant permission. So just do as it asks, uh, just because since I had already done that, again, to demonstrate to you, uh, then I don't get that screen anymore, but you have a welcome screen teaching. It's just a few steps under right here under system preferences, but it's going to guide you step by step. You're just going to like uh, tick two boxes or something. It's super easy. Okay. So after you see the icon right here on the, on the Mac, on the computer for, for that matter, uh, you're good to go. So you can open right here on the iPhone and it's going to say install on your Mac or a computer and all, and then it's going to give you a few instructions. Okay and then you're good to go. So then you can just go ahead and use it. So uh, as I showed you, you can obviously um, you play with your mouse. So use your mouse just like that. As you guys can see, the cursor is right there. So you can use your mouse normally. Uh, you have a few options. So you can, for example, go ahead and scroll as well. The scrolling works like that or with two fingers. Okay, it's up to you. Uh, you can rearrange and move windows around as well. So if you put your mouse on this bar right here, so then with three fingers, you can move it around, which is super cool. You can rearrange super easy. Um, as I said, you have some options here. I, I showed you before this. So we have some icons right here. Uh, and then you can obviously use them. So for example, you have the option to uh, see all your apps. That's like I showed you before. I love this little shortcut right there. You have your media. Uh, you also have some uh, pre-arranged links, for example. You also have your keyboard, so then you can easily uh, go through websites and things like that. So APP, that's Apple, you hit return, and then it's going to go to apple.com. Super easy. Again, you have some functions right here as well, like other functions on the keyboard. Uh, and you have, uh, let's see here, uh, the functions, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, and then you have other features and functions right here. And you, option ha and you also have at the end, the option to shut down, sleep, uh, restart, or log off from your computer. Keep in mind that some of those options are paid. Again, everything that I'm showing in this video is 100% free, but a, a few of those options are paid. So if you really like that app and if you like to support them, or even just to use those features, you do have to pay. There are some in-app purchases, for example, if you want to do it like that and use uh, a trackpad in landscape mode, you have to go pro, but it's only $1.99. So really, 
If you like this, I would really like recommend that you get it. As you saw, I don't have that, so everything that I'm showing you is for free. And please also keep in mind that in order for this to work, both the computer and the iPhone have to be connected to the same network. That can be uh, a Wi-Fi network, which is my case right here, or it can even be your personal hotspot. So if you are like, uh, not at home or not at work you can just connect your computer to the iPhone using a personal hotspot and it will work because they are in fact connected to the same network even if it's 4G. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. This is my app of the month. It's a new series that I'm starting today. So every single month I'll be showing you the best app that I came across this month. So for February, this is the application. I'm also going to do that for games. So I'm going to have the best game of the month and hopefully this is going to be a very successful series. Okay. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below and I'll see you guys in my next video, which is going to be in a few days. Bye bye.